Welcome. You're viewing Cyber Safety Seminar Video 3, Training Teens and Preteens How to Treat Others Online. I am Mark Strome. Thanks for investing this time. The internet as well as computer programs have made it easy to communicate, with text, pictures, and video being easily distributed to hundreds or even thousands. Children today find themselves with a vast and powerful distribution network only available to a select few throughout history. Today's powerful technology tools combined with the cyber native abilities from growing up with these tools have given children of today the ability to quickly leverage and easily adapt emerging technologies. This has provided our children with far reaching and powerful communication abilities. This power can be used for good or bad it is within the grasp of children and young adults who are not necessarily developmentally ready for such power. One does not have to look very far to see cases of misuse, crime, bullying, and even suicide as a result of these powerful tools. For trouble to begin, we need curious, ignorant, rebellious, undisciplined, or di disconnected children. Easy access to tools of power, such as computers, cell phones, cameras, online video games, etc., and then places that are unprotected or unmonitored. These three ingredients, when mixed together, cause trouble. Trouble in the form of a three-eyed monster. This monster brings exposure to inappropriate material, injury to individuals, as well as participation in illegal activities. This monster destroys lives. Until a tragedy occurs, many parents and leaders do not recognize just how powerful this monster can be. To avoid the monster from ever rearing its ugly head, we must learn to neutralize the three ingredients. Cyber Safety Seminar seeks to help parents in this important job. There is a very effective three-pronged attack against the three-eyed monster. Teach, train, and keep our children accountable control and limit access to tools of power, protect our children and monitor where they go and what they do. This video will deal with the first of these important steps, teaching, training, and holding your child accountable. Because of the importance of this first step, that of teaching and training children, we will break step one into three videos. This video will deal with training your child to treat others according to Ephesians 4 and 5. First, let's agree that parents are responsible to teach their children. God lends a child to a specific set of parents. Churches, schools, and other organizations can assist and help parents out. But these organizations are not designed to take the responsibility of raising children. Due to the fractured nature of today's families, where parents and youth have different church services, TV programs, online experiences, etc., it is increasingly important that parents be intentional about their responsibility. One area Cyber Safety Seminar has identified as an important area for attention, how a child treats others. Parents can help by example, through loving instruction and training, and by setting clear expectations. For more on these expectations, you can go to Colossians2.com for information on a short parenting book entitled Loving Limits. Loving Limits will help you with the process of discipleship. With the powerful communication available to children today, it is important for parents to be proactive in setting an example, training, and giving clear expectations. Cyber Safety Seminar has developed some resources to help teach behavior expectations using Ephesians 4 and 5. Journal of My New Computer is a short story broken down into 10 sections that examines the exploits of Tom and his new computer. Through the troubles Tom experiences with his computer, readers learn how to avoid trouble and, just as important, how to treat others. The story, the parent materials, as well as teacher materials are available free at cybersafetyseminar.com. Othersabove.com is for older students. 
a short email based on a truth taken from Ephesians 4 and 5 arise once a day for 10 days. Discussions can be done in a group, in a family, between parent and child, or a short reflection can be left at the website as a comment. Students can sign up for the emails at othersabove.com. A guide for parents and a guide for youth group leaders can be found at cybersafetyseminar.com. The following 10 scriptural truths taken from Ephesians 4 and 5 are addressed in both Journal of My New Computer and othersabove.com. Make life count. Our actions, positive or negative, will make a difference. God commands us to go out and make a difference for his good. Be kind, a great overall rule for all of life. Watch your words. In this day and age, words last a long, long time. Be truthful. When individuals are all alone, separated from the instant accountability of others, it's easy to avoid truth. Don't be foolish. How much of the web is based on rude, crude, and foolish behavior, yet God clearly warns against it? Expose wrong. Instead of enjoying sin, God has called Christians to expose wrongdoing. Forgive others. A powerful message for today. Avoid the perverted and pornographic. Act in a wise way, even when others are not right there to correct you. And finally, to act in such a way that others will know we are Christians. If you would like to find out more about these materials or to download the Journal of My New Computer, parent, teacher, or youth group leader materials, or sign up for the emails from othersabove.com, visit Cyber Safety Seminar today for more information. Next in the series, video four entitled Understanding the Dangers, Training Your Child to Drive Safely on the Information Superhighway. Please tell your friends about the free materials found at Cyber Safety Seminar.